hello guys so today uh, we're going to see the continuation of uh, WCF tutorial so last few sessions uh, we just to see how to create so the uh, how to create the services uh, how to consume the services in a web application so I declared the project called the web client and how to get the basic data now uh, in a go deep with the MEC projects so today's topics in MEC how to consume the WCF how to manage and how to uh, make the settings available for advanced purposes so um, um, by uh, flow we going to start this so uh, here I uh, have a I going to deal with the uh, patient record so I go on the create one more controller uh, called the patient okay I just uh, go on adding the controller called the patients WCF empty controller okay patients So I going to use the same model that already present in my WCF. So just go on copy paste the same. Copy. Okay, in the model now a controller is created. Let's uh, go on. To okay, add the class called patient model ok my object is ready now ok so uh, now I want to consume my uh, uh, list data uh, there. So how to do this one? So I going to write my the same uh, web client uh, services. Uh, so this I al I already explained to you how to do this. So the same way I just copy here. So if I uh, want to have a deep idea please go through my previous list of videos in the WCF. Okay, just use the same. Using a system.net and system.io. Okay, here I want to get a uh, Let's go on the Okay, I just uh, want to go on the run my services. in the web one sec I just go on take so in ways it's configured for a web HTTP just to go and find my third okay it's a get all patient so it will be 
uh, named as all patients in a web api so we'll s this will work for get the uh, list of patients okay so this is my uh, api that i going to get the list of uh, patient records so i just go on the place here okay there is no parameter so just to remove this good okay so my data will get a stream and it will be there in the object so now uh okay now we just uh, run this uh, uh, application and we see before that i go on the okay create a, a view by using add view so here i going to add the template called the list okay so i'll go and select the model yep uh, it's no it's uh, empty data context i don't want to select from the application let's uh, leave this as empty okay okay let's my view got created so, okay just keep the breakpoint i'll going to run the patient controller we'll see whether the data what we expected it's fetch then we'll go and customize it yes it is hitting the break point let's go through quickly okay i in uh, result i got uh, uh json uh, result a uh, data birth uh we have to record i got it so now this uh, record we have to um, uh, display in the view so how to do this we going to see okay i just to stop the solution okay my requirement uh, is uh, to convert uh, this as a i enumerable object so that i can display the data so it's very simple okay i just to declare as uh, where uh, dot uh, model okay this is the model okay here i going to use the json converter uh, to deserialize the json object so i'll take json dot convert so it is under the newton stock library json uh, convert json convert okay using a newton stock json dot deserialization deserialize the object so i want to deserialize as a list so i use a list a list here i going to use a patient model so my model is patient okay and finally pause the result json result here okay patient model let's uh, refer the library of the model okay everything is uh, every all, all thing is done here so finally go and pause the model to the view that's it 
I'll go on the chat now. Okay, it's under patient. Patients. Okay, it's seated. We'll see. Okay, finally I got the JSON result here. So now uh, this uh, JSON uh, serializer deserialized to the object. Okay, it's done. Yeah, it's converted to the list with the uh, two set of model. Okay, fine. It's uh, we got uh, exactly what we needed. Okay, let's skip this. It's filling my views model. Yes, oops, it's working as we expected. Okay, let's. Uh, go and uh, skip all the stuff we'll see in the UI yep so my uh, record got fetched from the WCF and it is uh, displaying over here see then uh, steps is worked very nicely uh, I just to remove the breakpoint and the reference the page the runtime how the how much the fast it's getting we'll see about that see uh, the data how it's uh, loaded loaded that you can be able to see because uh, the service uh, we go and uh, used it's very fast and it will be a very lightweighted 